Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. My name is Nur Hafizah Nadia binti Abdul Haq and today me and my friends Diana Zahira Hanani, Izzah Safiyah and Muhammad Aino Daniel are going to represent our IPG that is IPG Datuk Razali Ismail Campus and we are going to share with all of you about the MPDL project that we had done last semester. So the project involves three different courses that are PRKA 3012, Planning of Teaching and Learning, EDUP 3073, Culture and Learning, and also TSLB 3252, uh, Creative Writing. So all these uh, three different courses are then combined so that we can create one final product that can cover all the three courses CLOs. So this is the question. I am not going to read it because it is very long. Instead, I am going to divide it into three different parts. That is actually the task that we are supposed to do in this assignment. So the first one, we need to interview three to five teachers in order to get some information about the implementation of multicultural classroom management. Aside from that, we also need to uh, interview them about the PLC strategies, professional learning community strategies, and how to apply it in a classroom to make it more uh, effective. And the second one, we need to create a multicultural friendly lesson plan. So this uh, lesson plan must consist cultural friendly activities. So these activities are then uh, involved with a third part uh, we need, whereby we need to develop a lesson material from a creative essay. We need to write a creative essay and then turn the creative essay into a teaching material that is suitable for year four or year three or year five children. So uh, this is actually the, uh, the task that we are supposed to do from this assignment. So these are the course learning outcomes, the CLOs for our NVIDIA project. As we can see from the figure in the middle, there is an interception between TSLB 3252 and EDUP 3073, uh, whereby both of them are under the RKA 3012. So the first and the fifth CLO is under PRKA 3012 uh, that is to discuss important components that need to be considered in daily teaching plans. And the second one is to create effective teaching and learning activities using PLC strategies by referring to various resources. So through the interview sessions that we had done through Google Form and also Google Meet with the teachers, we can get more information about how to manage a, a cultural friendly classroom and everything and uh, apply them in our lesson plan. So the next one for TSLB 3252, it is the third CLO, we need to write a creative essay. So this one is uh, as I have explained earlier. So the next one for EDUP 3073, uh, the CLOs are CLO2 and CLO4. We need to discuss the aspects, effects and implications of socio-cultural diversity in Malaysia through interviews. So, and we need to plan measures to manage a cultural friendly classroom environment in Malaysia. Through the interview session, we can ask the teachers that have been in this field for a long time and get some knowledge from them on how to create a multicultural friendly classroom management. So that is what uh, the CLOs. And the big idea for our NPDA project is multi skills, multi levels, and versatile teachers for 21st century education. So through the implementation of uh, ICT technology and also the interview session with the teacher whereby we col collaborate with the teachers. We can produce uh, versatile teachers, we know how to collaborate, we know how to use technologies, we know how to apply the knowledge that we have gotten from the teachers into our lesson plan. And our MPDL project has five essential questions or EQ. So the first EQ is how do teachers play a role in elevating national education? The second one is how do today's teachers face the challenges of 21st century education. The third EQ is what is the appropriate PDPC approach in dealing with students in the classroom. And the fourth EQ is how do teachers meet the needs of student diversity in the classroom. And the fifth one, uh, why do teachers and students need to be creative and collaborate? So through this project, we managed to um, answer all these essential questions and we know that by doing the interview sessions, we can get more knowledge from the teachers and we know how to handle a cultural friendly classroom to make it more um, effective, to make it more fun for the students to learn it and make it more conducive for them. So we also come up with a teaching material that we can use from our creative essay that we have 
breathing and also we apply it uh, with the use of technology suitable with the 21st century education so yeah that is all from me i guess i am i would like to invite my friend isa to continue on the global competencies and or the six c's so yeah that's all for me thank you bismillahirrahmanirrahim thank you so much to nadia for the explanation regarding our mpdl task now i isa safia bin idris will now explain to everyone regarding the global competencies six c's so, in my explanation, I will explain the rubrics for the 6 C's Global Competencies and also share to you guys the elements of 6 C's that we have gained from our MPDL task. So, the first element in 6 C's is character. So, from character, we can see that the students will be able to gain the knowledge to learning to deep learn, leveraging digital, grit, tenacity, perseverance and resilience as well as self-regulation and responsibility for learning. Next is citizenship. So, from during the MPDL task, from deep learning, students will be able to obtain a global perspective for themselves. Next, understanding of diverse values and worldviews, genuine interest in humans and environmental sustainability, and also leveraging digital. And finally, solving ambiguous and complex problems in the real world to benefit citizens. The next element in 6 C's is collaboration. So from the collaboration, students will be able to learn how to work interdependently as a team with their own uh, group mates and gain interpersonal and team related skills as well as uh, social, emotional and intercultural skills. They also can uh, learn on leveraging digital and also managing team, di team dynamics and challenges. And the third element in uh, the global competencies, the six C's, is co uh, communication. So, um, the rubrics for this uh, element is coherent communication using a range of communication modes. Next is communication design for particular audiences, substantive multimodal communication as well as leveraging digital, and also the last one is reflection on and use of the process of learning to further develop and improve their communication. Next is creativity, which is a very a not uncommon term in MPDL. Students will be able to gain economic and social entrepreneurialism, meaning they will be able to realize that their ideas and their products actually have values. And they will be also be able to ask the right inquiry questions, leveraging digital, considering and pursuing novel ideas and solutions, as well as gain the leadership for action. And the last one is critical thinking. So critical thinking is actually an important element for the students. Um, from the project, students will be able to evaluate information and arguments during the whole process, making connections and identifying patterns, meaningful knowledge construction, leveraging digital, collaborative knowledge construction, as well as experimenting, reflecting and taking action on their ideas in the real world, meaning that the ideas that they have generated for their product can actually be used and implemented in real life. Now, I will share about the six C's, global competencies that we have actually gained from our MPDL task. Our achievement uh, level is proficient. So for the first element of uh, six C's, which is character, from the subjects PRKA 3013, EVP 3073, and also TSLB 3252, we actually uh, gain the uh, elements of learning to deep learn, leveraging digital, self regulation, and responsibility for learning. Next, for the element citizenship, from the three same uh, courses, we gain the understanding of diverse values and worldviews. Next, uh, the following six C's from the MPDL task, uh, the element of collaboration from the two subjects, uh, which are PRKA3012 and EDUP3073, we gained social, emotional, and intercultural skills. Meanwhile, for communication from three subjects, we have reflection on and use of the process of learning to further develop and improve our own communication. And the final two of our six C's global competencies that we gain from the NPDL task is our uh, first is creativity. Uh, we gain asking the right questions and also considering and pursuing novel ideas and solutions. 
and last but not least is critical thinking so from the three uh, courses he gains meaningful knowledge construction so i think that is all from me so i would like to invite my friend diana to share about the results of mpdl project thank you Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. I'm Diana Zairah Hanani binti Abdul Majid and I'll be continuing our presentation on the topic of results of our NPDL project, which mainly consists of these three things, knowledge, skill and product. We learned a lot throughout the project and one of those is that we are able to identify and understand the relation between important components in our daily lesson plan, meaning to say that we know how objective, content standard, learning standard and the materials all connect together to make a good lesson. And not only that, we also understand better on the effective teaching and learning activities using PRC strategies because in one of the tasks, we are required to identify which PRC strategies are used in school and how they use it. And last but not least, every one of us managed to create an original creative essay where we also have a simplified version of that essay made into digital books, interactive games, pictures, flashcards and many others. So these are the skills developed through NPDL project. We discuss, plan, create and write everything online with thousands of miles between each other. But we manage. So this is one of the examples of uh, the cultural friendly lesson plan that we created where you can see that the layout is as any other lesson plan and there are also attachments but the reason we say that it's cultural friendly is because we combine the subject and we have to keep in mind that whatever we survey in school through one of the tasks is carried into this lesson plan where we are supposed to catered to those backgrounds. Another product is our website and personal e-portfolio where on the screen you can see screenshots of it. The QR code will be given to you at the, at the end of our presentation and if you see and if you look at the left hand bottom there is a list of our students website where if you click on those names it will directly link you to the personal website of those six students. These are our ebooks. It is compiled into different books according to each subject for better reference because we know which task falls into what category. Because at the end of our NPDL project, there is only one product. We need to say that there is one thing, yet there are multiple components inside it. So by separating them, it is much easier for us to understand which task is which and it's much more specified. And this is an example of the teaching and learning material. This is actually an, a, digital, a digital storybook where the teacher can click on the red arrows to move from each of the pages and the, he or she can also click on the picture for identification of what subject that they are teaching and what is the thing that they are trying to focus on. This is two of the examples out of 22 stories or creative essays that we actually created during our project. Now we move on to the benefits, challenges and suggestions that we get throughout the whole NPDL. For the benefits, we definitely see that it is a good way to, to provide opportunities for us to learn and try new things. We also need it to be more creative because we have to cater all the criteria that is required by NPDL. And the challenges, the most obvious one is definitely the limited interaction and inconsistent internet connection. It makes it very difficult for us to brainstorm and to refer each other and even refer to our lecturers for those who are trying to ask for clarifications and needed help. It's very difficult, but we manage. And for the suggestions, we highly suggest that teachers, especially, to explore more apps and sites for editing and creating materials. Because there are so many on the internet, but we haven't had the chance, or um, we haven't had the opportunity and time to take a look, take a look and play around with it. 
And another suggestion we like to suggest is for somebody or anybody to create a specific platform for NPDL where students can showcase and share their projects with other people. That's all for me. In the next few slides, you will be provided with a few QR codes that will link you to our website and to the ebooks that we have created. Feel free to scan and look around.